guys, this is Christine from Prim Dogs for Life. Welcome to my channel. And today I am going to make a recipe for you. And so I started this channel primarily because um, I have been assisting people uh, with uh, creating a fresh diet for their uh, dog for almost 20 years now. And back then, um, we didn't have the information that we do now. So a lot of it was guesswork. Because I love the fact that people are looking for um, fresh food diets. And so today we are going to start with, um, uh, I am going to give you the recipe verbally, but we are going to start with um, 1.2 uh, pounds of turkey meat. And so I've already pre-cut the meat and so forth uh, to uh, save time on our video. And so what I'm gonna do is just start adding things um, to um, our blender. So I'm using a food processor. Um, the next thing that we need to add here is eight ounces of turkey heart, um, one ounce of turkey liver, um, and so I have those already um, pre-cut again in here. So I am going to add. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, where do you get your ingredients? I always try to create ingredients that makes it easy for you to find in your grocery store. And if they don't have it in your regular grocery store, you might be able to find an ethnic grocer in the area where they tend to have some of these items more so than others. So um, this is our protein. What I'm going to go ahead and do is grind this down. Um, okay, so once it's been ground down, we are. I'm gonna just kind of put this in a separate um, bowl for the, for the moment. And so, um, are going to grind down um, we have 16 ounces of Swiss chard so I'm going to add my Swiss chard and I'm going to go ahead and grind that down and so you could get a food processor um, you know at your local Target store, or whatever. So um, I don't have anything fancy here. It was uh, something I probably purchased off of Amazon. And so I like to make sure that the um, that the greens are ground down good because sometimes you have dogs that they eat around the greens and they leave that in the bowl. And so um, obviously the greens, green leafy vegetables are great. They're high in antioxidants. They offer a lot of nutritional um, value, uh, particularly vitamins. Um, and so that is 16 ounces of Swiss chard into the bowl. Next, I am going to add um, two ounces of mataki mushrooms. And so mataki mushrooms, um, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those mushrooms you kind of have to look at. Uh, look for. I am lucky to have um, a grocer in the area that carries the mataki mushrooms. And so mataki mushrooms, what I like about them, you can't necessarily substitute them for um, another mushroom such as shiitake um, or any of those other ones. Primarily, I like the mataki mushrooms um, because of the vitamin uh, D content. You actually get 40% more vitamin D in mataki mushrooms than you do in um, shiitake mushrooms or the uh, changa or any of those other ones. So I particularly like the mataki mushrooms for vitamin D. Add that to the bowl. Um, we are going to now add in um, three ounces of almonds. 
Um, almonds are great. Um, one, it's a great healthy fat source. Not only is it a great healthy fat source, um, it's wonderful in vitamin E. So it's got some great, uh, you know, antioxidants in there. Antioxidants uh, for the, uh, you know, through vitamin E. They're free radical scavengers, so it's helpful for, you know, dogs that might have uh, cancer and or um, other autoimmune issues where um, you need something high in the antioxidants. In this case, it does balance out our recipe. The other thing we're adding is three ounces of sunflower seeds. These are dried sunflower seeds. Make sure that these are in their raw form. In other words, don't get the ones that have salt on them or anything of that nature. So we've got three ounces of, of the um, almonds and then three ounces in um, the sunflower. Now, I want to make sure that these are ground up um, very well because you don't want clumps. Otherwise, your dog isn't um, utilizing it. They're just kind of pooping out chunks. So it's important that you blend these uh, pretty well almost until they're in that butter form. Yeah, that's looking pretty good there. So we are going to add that into our recipe. And so um, don't be afraid to use nuts and seeds. I like to use chia seeds. Almonds um, are some of my favorites. Sometimes I use uh, walnut. Um, you gotta make sure it's not the black walnut, but just like the regular walnut you'd buy in the grocery store. Um, then what we're going to add here is I do not have any bone content. In other words, I'm not feeding a whole bone or a ground bone or anything of that nature. So instead, I am using um, 0 0.75 uh, ounces of uh, uh, bone meal that I get from um, Now Foods. It's a Now Foods brand. And so um, sometimes in the recipes, um, when you're trying to figure out on your scale um, that you're using for where my scale is here. And again, my scale, I probably, I bought it like 10, 12 bucks at Target. Um, when I'm measuring the, uh, the powder out and you're trying to get that exact, sometimes it's easier to go in grams than ounces. And it's easy to convert grams to ounces if you have an Alexa app. So for example, um, this recipe again calls for 0.75 ounces. Um, and so um, if I wanted to know that in grams, I can just ask Alexa. So Alexa, how many um, grams are in 0.75 ounces? 0 0.75 ounces is about 21.26 grams. And so that's 21.26 grams, um, which for me was easier to um, be able to utilize on my, uh, on my uh, scale as opposed to the ounces. So uh, again, I am using bone meal um, in here. Now the next thing that we're going to add is one tablespoon of flaxseed. I use the flaxseed from... Um, uh, Barleen's and you got to get the one in the red so it's the flax seed it's an organic um, their supplements are added to my um, food formulator so using something that is different can again change the uh, nutritional panel so here I am adding um, one tablespoon of flax seed so give me one second here Okay. Next, we need to add in um, 2.5 um, uh, tablespoons of omega 3s. So we got that. And then, last but not least, um, we need one large egg. So a lot of people will use raw eggs. I, however, prefer them to be um, par cooked. So basically, um, I put them in uh, hot boiling water for about three minutes and then take them out. 
Here you're going to want to leave the shell on it, so the shell also has some great nutritional value. One, it's a great um, source of calcium. The other thing is eggshells have a membrane in between the yolk and the shell, and those membranes are actually a supplement that they use um, as a pain reliever. And so it has some uh, good properties for, uh, for that. So again, one egg, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. All right, so now that the egg is ground and so forth, and I just kind of wanted to take a quick, you know, because one of the questions that people will ask um, often is about substituting the protein in your recipes. And the reality is substituting anything alters the nutritional panel to um, what it, the, the recipe. So it can actually change dramatically um, a recipe. So for example, um, be, and I, and I, um, if we were to have, in this case we're using turkey meat, um, but if I were to switch it to, um, if I were to switch it to beef or chicken or pork, um, it changes the nutritional value. And so I went online and looked up a couple of um, interesting points. Um, so for example, um, vitamin A, um, when it comes to um, beef, is 156% um, percent based on the daily recommended value, whereas turkey is at 254%. So that's a pretty big difference. And then you're looking at pork at 159 and chicken at 104. So clearly you can see that that makes a big difference as to um, how a recipe is kind of put together when you're formulating. Um, the other thing that I thought was interesting was um, the vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 for, um, for beef was 700% versus turkey is at 233%, chicken was at 196%. So again, and that was based on one ounce of each. So I tried to create it so that the weight of it was similar. Um, and uh, you can again clearly see that the nutritional panel of your proteins vary. And so that could definitely affect your recipe. So switching out um, things from a recipe could, um, again, uh, create either um, too much, for example, vitamin A, and or uh, too much uh, or too little, whereas you're um, then running into nutritional deficiencies. So basically, I'm going to kind of mix this up real quick. And um, the best way to do it really is just to get your hands dirty. So um, practice good uh, housekeeping, the same as you would for your own food prep for your family. Um, so um, you know, just make sure everything is washed, um, cleaned. Uh, use anti uh, cleaners that uh, clean to make sure that your bacteria and so forth. So uh, again, the best way to kind of do this is just to kind of get in there and give it a good mix in. And lastly, what we did not put in here um, was the kelp, which is so important for thyroid health. And so you do need to add that which um, I buy the Now brand. So this recipe is based on uh, the Now brand, the 150 milligram tablets, of which you would put five in. Um, and so what I ended up doing was putting them through um, my um, herb grinder um, and added that in when I was adding the, um, egg, uh, the uh, bone meal. So um, I didn't mention that, so I just want to make sure that we've covered it all. Um, I do um, can cut this in half, uh, meaning um, I can make this into small four, uh, four smaller meals for a smaller dog. So instead of doing these, if you have a large breed, that's great, but if you have a smaller breed dog, you can basically... Um, cut them into uh, four smaller meals.
meals, which would give you a couple of days. Now, um, you can also double a recipe or half a recipe to make smaller or larger amounts. Um, and um, in this case, as I said, you can either um, double this recipe and or you could break it down into a little bit of a smaller um, meals um, if you have a smaller dog. Um, and that changes again the calorie intake, but um, it's certainly recipes can be halved or doubled. So again, thank you for sharing some time with me. Again, visit our website. It gives you some great information. If you have dogs with allergies, um, we do um, have uh, a lot of information and some free eBooks and we help um, transition if you're interested in learning how to transition your dog from a kibble onto a fresh basis. Um, we give you some information on that as well. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, make any comments on it. Um, please share the video. Um, and hope to see you again. Thank you so much. Have a great day.